remember the first time I met Mentor King on the road for my job interview back in November 2010. We had a lengthy discussion where he took time to explain his vision, first for the long term and then short term and immediate term. I listened attentively to every detail. Later, he paused and asked me how much I would want to be paid as a monthly salary, which I told him. He approved it and we continued our discussion. From my discussion, I sensed in my spirit that God has just brought me in contact with a man who was at a pivotal point in his career where he was about to take off and fly. He hired me on that day on the road. The next time we met was in my home at my dining table where he came with the company file 001 where we spent the next couple of hours figuring out what kind of structure would best be suited for carrying and sustaining his vision and his legacy. The target was to bring his vision to reality. Each time you sit with King and he talks about his vision, you feel inadequate, but also inspired to want to learn what you must learn to be ready for your next meeting with him. By the time you meet, he would have moved on again to something higher. Then the cycle of feeling inadequate repeats itself again and again. But unknown to you, you are not only growing, but developing in stature as well. In your head, you think he's just pushing you and making you to chase him without giving you time to breathe. You want to stop, but your love for him, his vision, his passion, and how you have also seen his dream as a major part to you fulfilling your own life's purpose motivates you and keep you running. I liken my experience with Mentor King as a practical example of one of his favorite stories which he often tells when making presentation, the story of the mother eagle and the baby eaglet. And it goes like this, live in your vision. King had a compelling way of telling his vision where you have no choice than to get on board and start running. Just like the Eagle King taught me how to see far into the future using what I see as my preparatory manual for today. Science has it on record that the Eagle has a vision that can see its prey distinctly as far as 3.2 kilometers away. That is an exceptionally long range, long range. No other bird or animal can see that far. With vision like that, the Eagle is single-minded and focused in the pursuit of his prey. Obon King developed the acuity to see his vision very clearly and to live each day of his life in this vision. He was so focused on it. Uh, what you see, what you can see affects the way you live your life. Live in your vision. What you can see, what you see affects the way you live your life. Live in your vision. Number two is attack your vision. When the mother eagle goes on a hunt, she comes with all her strength, picking up her prey three out of five attempts. The mother eagle is never afraid to take on a prey, even those bigger than her. She attacks from what her vision has captured. I watch King go on the attack when it comes to chasing new business opportunities and contacts, and I marvel and panic at the same time. Though I was quite afraid, I started making similar attempts and started getting similar results as him, and this made me feel good. You must be unconventional and undeterred in your attack. King showed me this repeatedly through practical examples, like the notion, don't talk to strangers. It's not ideal for a businessman. He had a series on this titled Penetrating the Stranger. You can only attack what your vision has captured. You can only attack what your vision has captured. Number three, from the story of the mother eagle and the baby eaglet, King defends his vision. King had a call sign, which is King Kong. When I first met King, he told me about his vision and I started planning from a place of fear. He laughed at me and said, Chris, no fear. We are in this together. Trust me. He smiled with his wide open teeth. His presence and size were large and intimidating, which helped chase out my fears. Not that the Goliath had disappeared, 
It was just that I had grown in courage because my mother ego was always by me, nursing me while I was in the nest. King defended and protected his vision. Fear would torment you, but courage or faith will excite you. The other thing about the mother eagle and the baby eaglet I can pull out from my relationship with Ubon King as we go on this tribute me memory tinkation 2021, Ubon King would always say the best way to get out of trouble is to first get into trouble. King solved problems through his vision. King solved problems through his vision. And he would always say the best way to get out of trouble is to first get into trouble. The mother eagle never runs away from a storm. The mother eagle never runs away from a storm. Rather, it uses the wind from the storm to soar higher and just cruise, uh, conserving the energy with momentum. King and I would talk about Nigeria and all her numerous problems. And all he would talk about was the Nigeria that had vision stamped on it. And he would attack the problem from the view of his vision. I did not get it in our early days of working together. But later I did. In solving the myriad of problems posed by the stormy Nigeria economy, we will find the rhythm we needed to soar to greatness. We will find the reading we needed to soar to greatness. And Mentor King, uh, the last one I have on my list when I connect the relationship of the mother eagle to the baby eaglet is become a mentor to a mentee in your vision. Become a mentor to a mentee in your vision. Ubon King loved value-driven relationship and was always ready to sow into them either as a mentee or as a mentor, he would always say, my name is Ubon King and I'm just your boy. He loved his family and his team at Protection Plus. He cared for almost everyone he encountered, building and nurturing relationship across all the usual divides of religion, tribe, race, social status and the like. Ubon King built bridges with men. He was attracted to fiery passions in others and sought to ignite the same fire in everyone he encountered. Who are you igniting with the fire of your vision? This has been our story the last decade and just when I was about to show him how steady I had become with running on the ground, he led me high up the mountain just as the mother eagle would do to her eaglet. He looked at me and showed me the Nigerian story as it relates to young people today. The reality is that Nigeria's inflation rate is over 25% and counting. Nigeria has serious security challenges. Nigeria's unemployment rate is over 28% and counting. Nigeria has problems with electricity. The cost of production is high. The business climate in Nigeria is harsh. The COVID-19 and the palliative drama is all around us. The NSAS campaign and all the issues that come with it are still with us. Governance and our teeming youth population are still at opposite end of a huge divide. The list can go on and on and on. It's, it's not enough to have feathers. We must fly and fly we shall. I've spent the last 10 years learning to discover what it takes to live in my vision, to attack the list of Nigeria's problem from the vantage point of my vision, to defend the Nigerian dream from the place of my vision, to solve problems listed above all the problems I've mentioned earlier on, to solve those problems from the place of vision, and to cultivate relevant and invaluable relationship with others who are also thinking and educating themselves. So today, I dare you to dream. Dream a big, bold, and powerful vision. With all, what if it all works out? As you dream, I ask you this question. What if it all works out as you have it in your vision? What could that mean for you, your family, your future, and your nation? You are neglect, and you have been taken to the top of the mountain. We are all getting shoved off this mountain. It's your turn, and it's your time to take that great leap of faith. At this point, I dare you to fly. My name 
is Chris Alota, and I am a mentee of Dr. Obon King. His legacy lives on. Thank you, Thinkation 2021, for having me. And to every young Nigerian out there, I want to encourage you, stay in your vision. Stay in the source of your vision and don't stop praying. God bless you and Obon King lives on. Bye-bye.